I'm now going to demo the Echo Quilting Foot and Echo Quilting With It. The Echo Quilting Foot comes in three sizes. It comes in the three eighths, one half that's on there right now, and then three quarters. I did the first panel in three eighths. This one's gonna be one half um, inch between each echo. And then on the next white panel, it's gonna, I'm gonna do three quarters of an inch. So I'm gonna show you how you would use this foot to echo quilt. So I've already uh, pulled my thread up and I have the edge of my foot on the edge of my embroidery there. And I'm just gonna slowly go around the embroidery to echo it. And I'm, I had previously basted, so I'm bringing my stitch count up to 12 stitches per inch. And then I'm just gonna watch as I'm stitching and use the edge of the foot to maintain that half inch all the way around. just keep going around and around. I'm not going to cut my thread between each row. That's just way too much work. You know, of course, if this were a competition quilt, then I would do that, but this is just a sample to show you the distance between echoes. Now I'm going to be getting pretty close to the red fabric. So there are areas where I won't complete a complete circle. I'll just go back and fill in the corners. Now I see that I'm going to need to fill this area in because I can't I don't want to use the white thread over on the red. So I'm going to just double back a bit here when I get down here. And then I'm going to uh, bring my bobbin thread up, cut that, and uh, do the four corners. Now, once I get all three blocks, the three eighth, the one half, and the three quarter block with the echo quilting done, I'm going to change to my square feet and do some piano keys or matchstick quilting. It has different names. And it, using this square feet and a ruler, I can get really nice even lines here very relatively quickly. So that will be the next video using the square feet to do piano key quilting.